Rudder Plaza was a popular place Tuesday morning. People coming from all parts of campus to check out these tiny homes. A lot of students have talked about how they watch the, the show on HDTV and they're amazed. On it. They don't actually think that the students from this school built it. They just they think we're showing it off. But once we tell them we built it, they it blows their mind. Having 10 people work inside of a 180 square foot house kind of made you uh, wonder how it's ever done. <laughs> But these construction science students made it happen. It took nine weeks, about $40,000, and a lot of creativity. They made use of every square inch. A stair step with storage under it to go up to the loft. And then we have a bay window that sits on the back that has uh, acts as a seating couch. We have a fold-up storage area, which when you open the door, it's a table. Uh, the couch has storage underneath it. This tiny house will be sent to the Community First neighborhood in Austin. It provides affordable permanent housing for the homeless. And this one is being sent to help homeless veterans in Kansas City. It's essentially designed to get people back up on their feet and give them a place to stay while they're looking for a job. So that way they have a residence, they have a place to shower and eat, cook, and just do all the basic necessities of life. The students were given $10,000 for each house from the school, and they found sponsors to help pay for the rest. At Texas A&M, Kristen Gilfus. News 3.